Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the recently released Windows Copilot, which brings centralized AI to Windows 11's desktop, is not without its problems and issues, as I have been seen in the comments on the channel and also in reports. And I did post on one of these issues earlier today that um, Copilot, in conjunction with the Moment 4 feature update that rolled out last week, are causing AMD driver issues, and that video will be down below in the description if you would be interested. Now, it is still early days because Microsoft has rolled out a preview beta version of the feature, which means it is expected to have bugs. And Microsoft has been a little bit cheeky with the rollout of Copilot because they are basically beta testing a preview version with the general public before they roll out a stable version in the next coming months. So nonetheless, uh, be that as it may, um, Copilot is here to stay for um, a whole lot of users uh, in different regions globally. And uh, um, just to let you know about a couple of other issues that you may have experienced, and just to give you a head, heads up if you haven't, because we like to keep you informed on the channel and posted regarding uh, these problems. Now, if we head over to the release notes for the Windows configuration update, which rolled out as part of the Moment um, 4 feature update last week, which brought all the new features um, for Moment 4, as we can see. Here we can see, as part of this configuration update, Microsoft has identified three known issues that are, are affecting Narrator that Copilot is causing. Now, just to go through these, uh, if you would be interested. They say Narrator, which by the way, uh, is a screen reader that describes what's on your screen and is an accessibility feature. They say that the first one is Narrator does not work as you expect with challenge response tests such as Capture. The second issue is um, Narrator fails to correctly state the name of the Remove an Image button. It also fails to say the name of the dialog or buttons for a skill. And the third one is that when you are using uh, the chat input box, pressing Tab does not change the keyboard focus. If you add an image to the chat input box, Narrator does not announce the addition. So those are the official known issues that Microsoft has listed um, for the Windows configuration update that Copilot is affecting in regards to Narrator. And in true uh, Microsoft fashion, the workaround is they say, we are working on a resolution and will provide an update in an upcoming release. So we'll have to look out for that one. Now, those are the official known issues, according to Microsoft. And just to let you know about a so-called unofficial problem that Copilot is causing with the uh, Fancy Zones utility, which is a feature found in the Power Toys app for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And if you um, want any more info regarding Power Toys, just do a search on the channel. I have posted numerous videos on Power Toys. Now, the issue uh, with Fancy Zones, and as you may know, when you open and close Copilot, it basically slides in from the right-hand side of the screen and then slides back. Now, the problem is that if I just open up settings again and we launch Copilot, we can see as it does this, apps will be resized or relocated. Full screen apps will shrink. So let's just show you again. There we go. And if we open it up, full, the full screen app shrinks to accommodate Copilot, but return to their normal size when Copilot is closed. Now, this is what's affecting fancy zones. So if I launch fancy zones by using the windows shift and f key that's my shortcut we can see that those are the layouts given and by the way fancy zones is very similar to snap assist and um that's found in windows 11. so this is just an example so fancy zones there we go there are my three snap layouts so to speak and if i open up copilot we can see that it doesn't respect fancy zones it does not shrink and adapt to size. So that's a big problem that Copilot is using with Fancy Zones, which, by the way, is quite a popular feature for those who use Power Toys. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention and just give you a heads up regarding um, those three known issues that Microsoft has officially identified with Copilot and that other Fancy Zones problem. And as mentioned, that AMD driver issue video will be down below. And just wanted to give you a heads up because, as mentioned, Copilot is now rolling out 
And if you have experienced any of these issues or maybe you haven't, just wanted to give you a heads up and keep you in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.